Mission Dash just had the recent launch of the Samulite Infinity. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at all the product that just came out. So they're kind enough to send me the board, the surround, the dark case and flights and stems. So we're going to have a close look at all of it in this one video. I'm not going to split it up, just look at this one video. So first of all we'll look at the Samurai Infinity Professional Board uh, first. So let's go do that right now. Okay, I'm going to quick look at the packaging first. You see the Samurai logo just on the side here in this lightning blue theme. And you've got the mission logo on the, the helmet there. Samurai Infinity Professional High Quality Bristle Dartboard. Picture of the dartboard there and the mission logo on the back. Just turn that over. Okay, Samurai Infinity Professional High Quality Bristle Board. The mission Samurai Infinity is a top quality dartboard with improved sissel compaction, ultra thin wire construction and vibrant non-fade colours. The sharp angle of the wires enable the darts to glance over them and into the scoring area resulting in less bounce outs and damage to the darts. Bonus, let's hope that is true. Key features, competition quality, high quality African sissel, uniform compaction for less hard spots, ultra thin wire construction, infinity number rounds, ultra clear numbers, staple free construction, larger scoring areas, vivid deep printing looks new for longer, Tour tournament regulation segments and just a little one bit there so you know how to set it up. Well let's open this up, so just quickly you can see it's got this cellophane wrap on it just to protect the board as well so we'll take this off. Also comes with this so you've got the baseball darts game, standard game, and just rules off the dart. So if you want to check out the baseball darts game, you've got target bulls dart game as well. Just on that. Oh, it's in different languages. First impression. Uh, looks really good. In fact, what I'll do is I'll zoom in, I think. Okay, so I've just zoomed in a little bit just so you can see the board a bit clearer. Don't forget you also get your little bracket thing to stick up on the wall as well. So I'll just do that to one side. Right, first impressions, just looking at the top half of the board. Um, not seeing any real issues with it. Maybe a little scuff mark there, but I'm not going to be petty about scuff marks. It's getting shipped about uh, all over the UK and, and so forth. There's going to be marks on it. Um, looks fine. No indentation a little vein there but top half looks fine I'll turn that around so you can see the bottom half obviously it's upside down and um, just so you can have a look a little bit of scuff mark there but it's just mediocre it's obviously it's getting shipped so it's uh, you will see it have some imperfections on it uh, but apart from that in first impression it looks really nice but yeah, it looks really nice, looks clean, looks good, don't see any issues with it. Obviously it's just plain boring at the back. Number rings, they look clean as well. Good quality, nice thin wire, going right round and the numbers are white and look very sharp indeed. So as we can see. The mission logo at the top as well. So yeah, really first impression, nice clean board, looks really good. Um, bristles, we'll obviously test this out, I'm going to put it up in the wall. But before we do that, let's have a quick look at this surround as well, I think. But before I put it up on the wall, um, I will be adding this to it. Just because I've got one wall space and I use it for hard uh, steel tip and soft tip, so I'll be using this bracket in the back of it instead of a normal standard bracket, just so it's all uh, the same bracket and it's easy to put on and off. So that's what I'll be putting on the back of it. Okay, having a look at the round as well, just want a close up look just so you can see it up uh, right close in this light as well. Good print on this, very clear. Um, I'm just going to go around it. Again, you've got the mission logo with the samurai image on it. 
Also, you see this a lot better up, but I just thought I'll let you see it up close as well. And you've got the Mission logo. Looks really good. Good quality print on this. Um, yeah, really nice. So before we see the final setup of the dartboards and the surround, what I'll do is I'll show you the dart case as well. So this is the Samurai Infinity dart case. So I've also got the Mission logo just there. Take this out of the packaging. Looks really nice, good quality. The print on that is pretty good. Um, I do actually use this myself, but what I've got is the Scotland flag one. Well, I don't know if I've got my stickers and that on it. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is what I actually do use. It's very good, it's very solid. It holds two sets of your darts there. You've got your stems all can fit in here. And at the other side, you've got your flights and you've got this netted pocket. So there's plenty of space for your flight stems and little accessories you want to keep. And it doesn't bend your flights in this section here, which is really good. Um, I can actually show you on mines. So what I'll do is I'll just bolt mines up. So there you go, I've got my own darts in there and I've got the saber stems causing those flights. Uh, got the flights in the back and just just some knickknacks in the wee pocket area there. So that is what that holds. Very good. And uh, it's very solid as well, very hard. So it won't get squished. But yeah, really nice dark case. Definitely worth looking into. And if you're going for the Samurai Infinity board and surround, maybe complement it with a nice dark case just to set off the, the full get the whole setup and what you can fill it with is these little beauties here so you've got your flights and saber stems let's grab some more so you've got the red ones there which is off the samurai 2 theme so any the red ones and the red stems is for the samurai 2 which is these two here and that's your saber stems with the black tips which is really nice and you also can get the infinity blue and the sable blue transparents there as well which are really nice and they'd be absolutely cracking in your dark case as well just really finishes that dark case off having that same theme color to it if that's what you're into if you've got OCD like me you just want to keep it neat but yeah really nice just study flights as well. I'll just get one of these open up just so you can see it. So I'm sure these are 100 micron flights. Again, you can see the Samurai on it. And it's got Samurai Infinity and it should be four sided, like so. Really good quality as well. So on that, let's go check out the dartboard and surround fully set up. Okay, so that's we've got the dartboard up in the wall. Ha ha ha, only kidding. Right, this is the darts base station. I thought I'd show you that first. So obviously it's following the Mission Samurai Infinity theme. We've all seen one of these before. Just put the darts there just to show you the size here. Again, pretty simple. Put your darts in here. I'm just curious to see how many people are going to pick this up on the dartboard to try and get a 180 with it as well. Uh, but yeah, great for holding your darts in really quickly. Just stab them in and that's you can just walk away and go. But yeah, nice little addition to the Samurai Infinity. Just a little station to hold your darts in. Cool. Anyway, let's go check out the real board. Okay, so that's it up in the wall. Got the board, the surround. It looks absolutely fantastic up in the wall there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, this is a, a little practice throw, throw some darts at it. I'll throw uh, darts with a black tip point. I'm also going to throw some darts with it. Go, it's the eagle darts points in them. So I'll just check with different various points on the board and see how well it holds up. Obviously it takes a, a good couple of weeks to a month to really see how well this board holds out. But first impression, I'm just going to have a couple of throws, see how it looks, and just take it from there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just going to have a few throws at the board, maybe for about 15-20 minutes or so, 
just have a few practice throws and then we'll just have a closer look at it and see how it holds up after throwing some just plain black tip points then I'll use the eagle darts uh, points after that which is slightly different a little bit more rougher on it so yeah let's see how we go obviously I'll fast forward all this nonsense so you don't get bored with it but anywho here we go Okay, so that's me. I had a few shots at the board, mainly focused on the treble 20 in the bull area. Um, as again, it was just a little practice throw. Obviously, I was just say it again, it's just a couple of throws. This is no um, a real survey off the board. Obviously, it takes a little while, it takes a few weeks, maybe a month to consistently use this every day to actually see if the, bolt, the board holds up. Uh, but for now, Impressions are you can see the, the few indentations where I've had it obviously, but you do you do get that on every board I assume that will heal up uh, And the bristles will come back together compact together when you hit in different areas of that segment and the bristles just compact uh, Back together and it should heal properly, but all in all yeah, it looks really good um, I did use black points and I did use the eagle dark points on this as well and there was no difference in the impact or the sound or anything like that. So let's just do a little summary. Okay, so the Mission Samurai Infinity, the board, um, I like it. It's very quiet. There's no dump noise when you're hitting on it. It's a soft thud kind of impact on it. Uh, whether that's due to the bristles, who knows? I'm not into that. But it's very quiet. Um, there's no that loud impact behind it. The colour on this is great, there's no bleed through, um, it, the colour really stands out as well when you, the light's on it as well, I put a bit of light on because I want you to see the board. Um, but yeah, really nice board, I like the number segment on this, it's crisp, it's nice thin wire going right round and a good white numbers on this. Unfortunately I did have one bounce out and that was at the bull area, I just think it hurt the rhyme. Uh, just ever so slightly and it just nicked it and bounced out so you do still get the odd bounce out but the the few times I threw uh, there was only one and also I hit that magical 180 on uh, the practice as well which was always good the surround itself absolutely fantastic it really blends in and complements the, the, the board as well good print quality on this good clean uh, very nice indeed so for the price of the board is £50, which is at the average price for stuff these days, and for a board like this at £50, I think that's absolutely fantastic. It could have been a lot more uh, expensive just because of the quality of it, but at £50, it's a good reasonable price for a dart board these days. Also, you've got the surround as well. That costs around about £45. You do get the red option as well, and that's for the Samurai 2 if you're not wanting the Infinity, and if you've got the Samurai 2 board, you just want to keep to that you've also got that option as well and that's a red theme you'll notice that on the website don't forget if you want to go the whole shebang get the dark case as well this is only 17 pound it's a good solid case hold two sets holds plenty of flights and stands in that little pocket as well so if you've gone for the packaging why not get the case and it really sits nice you've got it sitting in the display it just really complements and don't forget the flights and stems. Do go for the whole package, don't forget about the base station as well. Um, just a little accessory thing. It's, for me, I like these because you just stick your darts in it and just walk away instead of trying to get in the wee hole in the plastic thing. Cap the bot, 
and just want to just stab it in and just walk away, which is a nice little thing as well. So don't forget about that. And again, this costs ten pound as well. Also, you can get all this on Darts Corner's website. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So click on that and do check out the Mission Darts other products as well while you're at it. We'd also like to thank Mission Darts for sending this out to me to review on their behalf. So thank you very much to you guys. And that's it for me. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn notifications for any new reviews and live streams. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy done, guys. Bye.